fans realized their greatest fears in Part 2 of Stranger Things 4 after they fell in love with Eddie in the first half. The series has frequently introduced popular characters just to be sacrificed as lambs. In fact, fans almost instantly predicted Eddie's death and the plot played out to bring the worst to light. So what does the cast think about Eddie Munson's tragic death? Continue watching to find out. First up, do you feel the same as Maya? Maya Hawks made her feelings known. During a lie detector test for Vanity Fair, the Stranger Things actress who plays Robin on Stranger Things shared her real feelings towards numerous characters on the show. Maya expressed her wish for Eddie Munson, played by Joseph Quinn, to survive the season finale, echoing the sentiments of many people who saw season four. She said, I don't think he should have died. While she did want Eddie to have lived on until the next season, Maya had to admit that the cast had gotten too big. In an interview with Rolling Stone, Maya went ahead and explained that she'd also be okay if her character died. The next season will be the final season of Stranger Things. Fans expect that a lot of characters may die in their final fight against the Upside Down. Maya Hawk feels the same. She explained that she would love to get a hero's death and be killed off in an iconic way, similar to the way Eddie was killed. While we hope most of the main cast survives, we don't want Robin to perish. Coming up, what did the rest of the cast have to say? Most of the other cast members expressed how they felt when Eddie Munson died. Carrie talks about his friendship with actor Joseph Quinn that formed on set in an interview with Unilad. They spent a lot of time together, especially during the pandemic, the actor explained. He believes that his friendship with Quinn will last for a lifetime. When asked how he felt about Eddie Munson's death, Carrie admitted he could no longer remember. The one thing he was sure of was that he was bummed out to hear about his death. Quinn was an absolute joy on set. Kiri did compare Eddie's death to a moment in Lord of the Rings. Boromir was killed off in a heroic moment as he tried to keep the hobbits safe from the oncoming horde of orcs. Kiri explained that Eddie's death reminded him of Boromir's death. Gaten Matarazzo's character Dustin spent most of his time on screen with Quinn. In the second volume of season four, the two are paired off together in the group's effort to fight off Vecna. Understandably, Gaten questioned how he felt about Eddie's death. Matarazzo had to admit that filming the death scene was very hard for him. He explained that Quinn and he knew that the scene would be filmed sometime toward the end of their journey on the show. So while the scene was satisfying, it was also really intense and difficult for the young star. Matarazzo was very worried about how much he would have to do. He would have to cry and get emotional, and it was a lot. But he refocused his thoughts and reminded himself that it was Quinn's final moment in the show. So he put himself together and got through it. He knew he would be able to process his grief when he filmed the scene with Eddie's uncle. However, things were very tiring for Matarazzo, as there was a lot of crying involved. Next up, what does Millie Bobby Brown think of killing characters? Talking about characters' death, the funniest take on the matter comes from the lead of the show, Millie Bobby Brown. According to her, it's high time more characters were killed off the show. She explained that she came to this realization when the cast tried to take a photo together. She added that when the time came, the cast couldn't fit in for a single photo. Brown told Variety, there were like 50 of us. Brown then told the Duffer Brothers, the creators of Stranger Things, that they needed to start killing characters, calling them two sensitive sallies. Brown said that they are too scared to kill anyone off the show, and that they should be taking inspiration from Game of Thrones. We wonder if she's talking about the Red Wedding. The Duffer Brothers have killed characters in the show. They killed Eddie, Barb, Alexis, and Bob, all of whom were fan favorites and were given no more than a season on the show, except for Billy, who lasted for two seasons and was often mentioned in the fourth season too. But none of them are the main characters. Brown joked that they tried to kill David Harbour but brought him back immediately. In fact, the final moment of the third season almost confirmed that the American in the Russian prison was, no doubt, Hopper. So we kind of understand where Millie is coming from. Unfortunately, it will probably take some time before fans see whether the Duffer brothers heeded the advice of the young stars. David Harbour stated in a GQ interview that Stranger Things season 5 probably won't be available on the streamer until mid-2024. So we have a lot of time to see which characters we'll be bidding goodbye to. In other news, next up, who seems to be the most likely to die in the next season? Some people seem much more likely to die than others in Stranger Things' main group since they are all at very different points in their journeys. Despite the odds, anyone could be eliminated in the show's final season. This will be particularly intriguing for a show like Stranger Things, which has killed off a lot of characters. 
but hasn't yet written out any of the main group. Robin is a character that feels like she's been a part of the core group for much longer than a season and a half. She is Steve's best friend and is becoming closer to Nancy and the younger group. Having said that, Robin hasn't had a very heroic moment in the program thus far. Despite her popularity, she has provided important LGBTQ plus representation, contributed significantly to the growth of Steve and Nancy's characters, and is a fantastic individual. But it doesn't seem out of the question for her to die a hero to save Steve or Nancy. Jonathan, Will's older brother and Nancy's current boyfriend, served more as the gang's driver and Will's support system throughout season four than as the main character from the previous seasons. Season 5 will hopefully change things and include more of Jonathan. His decision to forego attending Nancy's college and the developing love triangle between him, Nancy, and Steve are currently his two largest impending plot lines. Outside of the teen drama element, Jonathan has much more to contribute to the story, and the subplot involving his uncertain future may be wrapped up most devastatingly. Steve Harrington, probably the most well-liked character in the entire series, has perhaps undergone the most character growth of any Stranger Things character. Many people believe that Steve would die a major death in season four, but he ended up being one of the season's biggest MVPs, with another member of his party playing the sad death. However, Steve might still be in trouble, and seeing him save the group at the expense of his life might be the most tragic series conclusion ever. Whether any of these predictions will turn out to be true, we can't say. We're just going to have to wait until 2024 to learn more. Coming up, what is up with Will? When season three arrived, Will seemed to mostly fall to the wayside. He was given very little to do besides serve as the third wheel quite literally, and only experiences a minor amount of character growth that suggest he may not only be gay, but also harbor affection for his closest friend, Mike. Except for a noteworthy fight scene between him and Mike, Will regrettably is relegated to the background. This marks the real start of their tense relationship for the remainder of the series. In season four, much of the same continues, but Will is given some more development in his and Mike's friendship issues overall, as well as more overt development and his anticipated coming out. In what is arguably the best scene of the most recent season, Will expresses his affection toward Mike, at least to the viewers. For the audience to understand that Will is effectively coming out to Mike in this scene, the writers overlap his hidden emotions by expressing them about Eleven. The way Schnapp handles it is amazing, and it is a heartbreaking scene to witness. Another standout moment of the season is a later scene featuring Jonathan, who has overheard his talk with Mike. It hits all the right emotional notes. Of course, Will is once again eclipsed by other more important narratives, with the exception of a few additional scenes involving Mike, Eleven, and Jonathan. However, the final moments from the show finally seem to highlight how important Will's role and connection to the Upside Down is. Hopefully, he will have an important role to play in the final season and in solving the issues Hawkins has been embroiled in, once and for all. What do you think about Eddie Munson's death? Who do you think should be killed off in the final season of the show? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.